Hey y'all, this your girl Tiana. I'm gonna be me, and today what I'm about to make for y'all is some spaghetti squash spaghetti. Now I told y'all that I had wanted to try the spaghetti squash. I ain't never ate it before. I'm just giving it a try, so I'm gonna let y'all know what it tastes All like. All right, y'all. So the first thing that you got to do is take your squash and cut it in half. So we're gonna get this up. Cut in half. I'm gonna cut it. Uh -uh. You look like you need me to cut it. All right, y'all. So, babe, finna cut it in half for me. You want this round part off right in front? Uh uh. They do need to come off. Uh uh. It's okay. <coughs> Thank you, baby. So now he's going to scoop the seeds and all that out, and you're going to throw that there away. Oh. Put in that bowl right down. Put in that bowl. Okay. It wasn't really that hard to cut y'all, but baby, you know, he just had to help me out. I don't mind him helping me out. Thank you, honey. You made it look hard. <laughs> it's about hard as cutting a watermelon. You scraping that good, honey. You want to put the salt on that too for me? You put some meat in the middle. Um, when they cook it, it's shred like spaghetti. What? It's a spaghetti squash. Who told you that? You'll see. You. Yeah, you right. That's all I'm gonna see. I ain't gonna eat it with you. Oh, I ain't asked you to eat it. If I would've cooked it for I ass, I you wouldn't have never you. known no different. You know what I mean? I don't know how you be thinking that. Cause you just be eating. You don't be knowing what you be eating. All right, there you go. Thank you. you want Come me to do the next part? You gonna hold it? Come on, what you doing? Sprinkle a little oil on it, just a little bit on both. Baby, kept... <laughs> you just need more than a little bit. I don't know why you say a little bit. Way more than a little bit. And then you gonna sprinkle some salt on there. Don't be heavy with the salt either. You do the salt, cause you know me. It ain't it ain't so I put olive oil on that child. <clears throat> well, he put the olive oil. Then you're gonna sprinkle it with a little salt. Go ahead, just sprinkle it. <clears throat> God damn! Now I'm going to sprinkle it with the salt. And you can add just some pepper to it if you want to. Let me get some pepper. Then I'm going to add some pepper. And now I got my oven preheated to 375 degrees. So I'm going to take my squash. I'm going to lay them face down in my pan and bake them for 35 minutes on 375. I'm gonna put this in there too, cause yeah, get all out. Alrighty y'all, so now I'm about to, my timer's going off. I cooked it for 35 minutes on 375, so the time is going off. We're about to check this today, squash, see if it's ready. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, let's see what's going on here. I'll roll this stuff open. 
I'm gonna taste it and see if it's done. Mm. Okay, so that's kind of tasty, y'all. So let's see if I can shred it like it's supposed to be shredded. It say 35 minutes, but it's, it say that it's shredding, but it's not no long strips and nothing like that. Short strips. Mm -mm. I'm gonna let that cook some more. I'm gonna cook it some more. Make sure it's all the way done because it's still kind of like got a little crunch to it. So I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. Alright, so I'm washing off me some pork, um, some mushrooms. Now I wash my mushrooms, y'all. I don't care nothing about it soaking up my water and all that right there. I'd rather wash them. I ain't with the wiping down because they be too dirty. So I washed my mushrooms and um, I got me some squash and I'm peeling the squash with my potato peeler. And I'm peel the only reason why I'm peeling is because the outside is ugly. So, and I got a, a celery and then I have a half an onion that I'm about to cut up. So, And the potato pillow works fine on the squash, on the uh, squash yard. So I'm washing. Never mind the washer going in the background, y'all. But so I'm getting these little stems off of it, and I'm gonna put my mushroom in some water because they do turn colors. As you can see, they is turning already. So, and I'm started killing one. And that's all you gotta do. Get you a little potato peeler and just peel the skin. And peel it just right, nice and thin. But I'm just gonna be adding some of this to the um, spaghetti, just to give it some more vegetables or whatever. All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead on and cut these mushrooms up for they turn any more. And you cut them however you want to cut them. I'm just going to cut them where I can taste them because I like mushrooms. And I'm just putting them in water. Nice little meaty mushrooms. That's why I like mushroom, because mushroom they really don't have like a taste taste like that. Unless you like add like some chicken broth to it to give it more flavor. I love mushroom because mushroom they almost like seem like a meat, honestly, when you ain't got no meat in something. They seem like a meat just because of their texture. Now I know somebody might disagree, but that's what I that's what how I feel about it. Okay, 
So I got that cut up. And now I'm going to cut up this onion here. And I'm just going to just dice that down a little bit. Cut my celery. I'm gonna just cut the tips off, off of that because this whole celery could have been. So I'm gonna dice up the celery. And I have a bag of bell peppers and onion mix. So I'm going to be using some of that too. I bought it frozen from Walmart. the squash so small so well I don't see it but I'm just cutting the ends off and then I'm gonna cut it in half oh and I forgot to tell you I put the um the spaghetti squash back in there for another 30 minutes on 375 um, we're gonna dice this here up. You just cut it to your preference. Like that. And I just pretty much cubed it up like the size that you would cut them up for like um like the size you would cut up potatoes for potato salad. Now, if you want to add you some um, some zucchini, add whatever you feel like you might want to your, your spaghetti. But that's that right there. We got all that there cut up. Ready to go. Alrighty, y'all. So, now, here at the stove, I'm going to add me some olive oil to my pot. And we're about to cook up this meat. I have me some ground chicken, but before I put the meat in there, I want to add my celery because I want to start softening the celery. I don't want my celery to be crunchy in my um, spaghetti. We're going to add the celery along first. And let that start stopping. Right there in that olive oil. I'm going to cook up this celery until it's nice and tender. And when I get it where I want it, then I'll be right back. Alrighty, y'all. So I have cooked down my celery where I want it. And now I'm about to add my bell pepper and onion to that.
and then the iron that I cut up. And saute that up to get it going. I'm just going to be frosting it because once it's defrosted, it's going to be soft anyway. Okay, so now they're going to defrost it. Alright, so now I'm about to take my ground beef, my um ground chicken. I have a pound of ground chicken right there. And I'm going to add the ground chicken right on in here. I want my brown chicken broken down nice and fine. Okay, Use my meat mixer to break that down nice and fine. Just like that right there. So now we're going to add some seasonings to that. We ain't going to wait. So I'm going to go ahead and add me some garlic powder. Season to your own taste. Seasoning salt. A little black pepper. And you can add onion powder. But I ain't got no onion powder, so we ain't gonna worry about it. And I'm just gonna mix all this here together. And I'm gonna cook this ground chicken until it's done all the way through. You don't have to worry about draining that because ground chicken, it does not create no grease. That's why I added the oil to it so it can have a little taste. Alrighty y'all, so now I got that just seasoned up real good, baby. It's so good, y'all. So now I got me some, um, that's no squash going off again. Hold on, y'all. Alright, so now what I'm gonna add to this is a can of petite, petite diced tomatoes. And the ones I'm using is in basil, garlic, and oregano. And I'm gonna add juice and all. Then I'm gonna add some uh, tomato, basil, and garlic, tomato, um, spaghetti sauce. And add how much that you like whenever you make your spaghetti. But I like a saucy, saucy, saucy spaghetti. I'm gonna add just a little bit more to mine. All right, so now we're gonna add some more seasoning. We're gonna add some oregano. Add the oregano up in there. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic. I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. Then I'm gonna add some tomato paste. Now, depending on how much you make, you might have to add a whole can. I'm going to add about half this can. Now, since I added the tomato paste, you know I'm going to have to add some um, sugar to help cut the acidity of the tomatoes. And you add as much sugar as you like, but I do like to add sugar to my spaghetti. Not to make it sweet, but just to cut it. Cut that tomato. So, I'll be adding like, maybe like a teaspoon to a tablespoon of sugar. And now I'm just gonna let this here simmer for a little bit to bring all those flavors together. I'm gonna let it simmer for like 10 minutes. But I'm gonna give this here a taste to see if it got enough sugar in it. To cut that tomato taste. Mm hmm Perfect amount. Alright. Let me go ahead and add my mushroom to this. That way they can be soaking up that flavor of the sauce. Why not? Let's go ahead on the add the um we're gonna let all this here cook together. I'm gonna go ahead on the add the squash. And let everything just cook together. A nice and hearty spaghetti, y'all. This is this is another one of those chicken recipes too. Another way of using chicken and creating a meal with it. But this one here is the ground chicken. All right, so I'm gonna put my lid on this, turn it down on medium low, and let this here simmer for about. I'm gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Alrighty, y'all. So, got spaghetti squash out the oven. Oh, the outside is soft for now, so it, sh it should be ready. Because, see, it wasn't as stringy as it was, it was, it was supposed to be. Oh, yeah. See, that's even softer. Okay. So, now we're going to shred this here squash. Oh, yeah. Cook it till it's nice and tender. You see how it's so see how it's more flexible now? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna shred that down. Well, just like that.
I'm going to do that for both of these. It's actually good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Better than what I thought it would be. I don't know what I thought it was going to taste like that. It's still good. Yeah. I could dig that. Mm. Especially when you season it up good too. Mm. Alright, so I got that nice and shredded. And I was just waiting on the, the meat sauce. I normally like to take my spaghetti and um, mix the spaghetti noodles in with the um, with the meat, but this ain't a lot, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna just add some a little a little meat to my squash to make it look more like spaghetti. All right, so when the meat is ready, I'll come back and show y'all the finish product i wanted to show y'all that this spaghetti it make a lot of liquid um spaghetti squash so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sit it in my colander and um let this water drain sorry y'all <clears throat> but i'm gonna sit it in my colander and i'm gonna let this water drain off of it while this meat sauce is still cooking because that makes a lot of water that I didn't know it made. So I'm just gonna let that sit there and just drain. Alrighty, y'all. So here's the spaghetti squash. I laid my meat on top of the squash. And as you can see, it still got liquid that coming out of it, but I don't think you can avoid that liquid, child, because it's squash. So I'm going to mix it all together. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. I put some, some cheese, some Italian cheese. I'm going to add some Parmesan to that, too. You know, y'all know how you do it. So I'm going to get this a taste. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna get this a taste and see what it's hitting for. So I'm getting ready for bed, y'all. But uh, as long as y'all see what it tastes like, that's all that matters. Never mind my bunny, honey. That's good, y'all. The um, dang. It's like once the meat get on the spaghetti squash, it kind of fool you and make you think that the the spaghetti squash is like some noodles. Excuse me, mouth is ash child. Wash my face and all that, so it's dry. It almost seemed like noodles, y'all. Y'all gotta try this. It's good. If y'all try this video, if y'all try this recipe, come back and leave a comment. And let me know what you think about it. But until the next video, this your girl here and I gonna be me. Y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Love y'all.